Welcome back to DCI. We are here at Texas Apron for race seven. Quick look at qualifying. I'll show you the order. Wait, ready to roll here. Forty starters ready to go. We found finally found a replacement for the seven. That is Vader seven oh seven oh seven. In that red, white, and blue, make his first start here. But Tiger Man will be the one to lead the field to green. Here they go. Green flag in the air. Down turn one. It's going to be interesting. Very wide. They get spread out down the front there. And as they come to the back, 47 in the wall. They stay green. That's going to create a bit of a divide in the pack. There's the bottom side leading a strong charge down the front stretch with hyperdrive leading there. All over the place. Yeah, nothing much to say here, just the low side is really good if you want to dive somebody, but that's honestly not the best strategy. As a six inserts it four wide. Look at him go. Grugmeyer just called called a shot and made it work. Hyperdrive gets away for the lead as several cars trying to out low each other going into one. Looks like Jake's going to take that really low line. Slides up in front of the eight. Oh, shit. Making risky moves like this all the time. It won't last forever. All right, passing 11 in the 51. On the back slide. As look at the 21. Going way high. Nobody's taking the super low line. This time, oh, RS Fast 11 gets in the back of the 43. Spock trying to run the middle. The 21 gets low. That's where he wants to be. Run that train, but don't overthink it. I think he's going to go in for the kill on the 43. Oh, this isn't good. I think the 43 gives way there, but... That's the line he wants to use to get through the corner. Little hyperdrive first, Misty Viper second so far. Even Laundry Sauce wants to play this game. Get low. Team Duke is somebody back here. A bit of a pickle with traffic. Tiger Man, he's falling back a little bit, but I think when he's single file out here, he'll find some stability. Just has to come down in front of the 26, and he'll be fine. Team Duke. A bit painful trying to find his way around. And the 16 of Ben McDonald isn't really appreciating it either, as he's... Also not finding the best routes around. The 9 of Canadian Lux is also in a bit of a pickle as well. So that kind of offsets the how bad the 16 is doing with these two going to compete against each other. I feel like everybody wants to use up the 43. No respect for Spock it seems. Another 91 of Ladion. He's had a bit of an up and down 
season so far, but there's been more downs than ups. Let's see if he'll finish strong, though. Not looking so good so far. The Puff, Darkest Present side by side. These two. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's stories from how much the 50 and the 44 have battled here. Especially after our last race when Present spun the Puff out and the Puff still went out and beat him on track. <clears throat> Those two, their rivalry seemingly endless. Tough start for the seven. Seven of Vader trying. This is the first time ever in the NR, in one of my NR races. And he's seemingly back in 37th, racing with the cars at the end of the field. Eh, everybody starts somewhere, I guess. Back up front, Hyper Mizzou. Race for the lead. That one racer coming in. He's in third. Christy Viper ran out top twelve. Look at the seventy-eight and six of all places. What a run he's got so far. Pop up the spectator cam and see how they enter turn one. Most of the pack is seemingly under control here. Have an interesting spread of cars. Look at that, the uh, 34 starting to slowly make up ground again. The 15, Toad Warrior running side top 10, and even back 11th is RS passing 11. Team Duke racing for that position. He's got his hands full here. And one of the most underrated battles this DCI mini season so far is the battle between Jerry and Volley. Jerry had a slow start to the season, but after some driver reorganizing, Jerry's got himself a special jolt to finish the season out. And Volley, a backmarker who's been punching above his weight significantly, trying to hold on to the playoff spot that he has. Either way, it's going to be interesting to see which one of the two gets it. Jerry, Volley, well, if someone like Zentz can go up and steal a wild card as well. Either way, you slice it. It's an interesting storyline to the end of the season. Significant pack of cars here looking to spice it up. Ben, Ladion, Canadian Lux, Ace, and a couple others behind. This is probably the biggest like individual group of cars racing each other for position at the moment. They're going to try and put Laddie on the third lane and get him out of there. Seemingly what they're going to do is see very much organized on the low side. All the way back to the cooker. And now they're looking for a three wide entry into one here. You know, with the tire wear, the pace is really starting to slow down as we have a caution. A wreck. It's 20 of East Lamp has spun. That'll bring out the yellow. Looking pretty late in the run. Ah, oh, it was really unfortunate what happened here. It just caught the six car out four wide, and then the 20 of East Slump having nowhere to go. 
Landon getting a piece of it as well. The six, everyone going around the six. The 20. Let's one more view of that from the second cam here. You could really see that wall contact right there and then just down the track they go. As everybody takes a bit of evasive action to avoid that. And they do. Everyone's pitting now as well. Um, I said, ev oh, fuck me. Never mind. Not everyone's pitting. There's a bit of a group wanting to stay out here. 45, 10, 21, 38, 16, 9, 18, 24, 55, 50. Don't make me get Cars Land flashbacks, you freaking idiots. At least a few of them realize the error of their ways. Ben, Steve, King. And the 55 sauce pitting in as well. But that leaves about the top six cars not pit. With all 40 still on track. Sauce looking to get in the back of the line here. Couple of few guys having to do evasive action around 55. So, yeah, I'm expecting early yellow. Maybe. I mean, it'd be on brand for this fucking race. Green's back out as the top six begin to hold their own. And fail to do so. Forty five is already chugging off the corner. Several cars begin to fan out as the whoa, whoa, Jerry in the wall, big crash in the back. Oh man, what is this pile up? Everybody's just kind of grinding away at each other. What the hell? Yeah, that's the 23 for you. I think it ultimately started. Everybody, whoa, actually, Ladion and Logan. But to be fair, the 50 was pitting from the toppest lane there. So you couldn't really see it coming. Or, I mean, you could. But, god damn, what a hit for a lot of these guys. Kind of hard to find an angle that gets everybody. That's, fuck me. That was a lot of cars. Alright, best I could do is helicopter cam on the 42. I mean, ultimately, those guys who stayed out and pitted did it, but everybody's checking up for the 50, it seems. And then Ladion just gets into Logan again. Second week in a row, those two made contact for a wreck. And then it all hits the fucking fan here. Just cars wrecking, wrecking, wrecking. Christ, King. Jesus Christ, King went bowling with the 23 and the 66. Well, this makes Laundry Sauce the leader so far by proxy. Those guys who 
To be fair, I think everybody kind of came in under caution. It did fuck up the running order significantly. Um. All right. What's Benny Shoal doing in the one? Yeah, Benny Shoal is a lap down with the cooker. 34 in the lead lap. King is out. Jerry's out. Ace and Misty are out. No, it's Laundry Sauce at first. Then Jake. Then Volley. Then the Puff. Then Hyperdrive. CS. KSS. Duke. Mizzou. Born to top 10. I'll take a look deep in the field. See any repaired cars. Bissell's the one with big repairs at the front. Iris. Had to make rear end repairs. Ladion had rear end repairs. Yeah, I think that's about it for the for the shop right there. Back to green. Everybody's going back. As it looks like the one car, Benny Shoal, not getting up to speed at all. The cooker also not that fast. So now this race has turned himself from a nice race to a fucking death trap. Jesus Christ. But 21 of Jake making work of it so far. Getting himself out in front of everybody else. Laundry Sauce in second is Volley looking to get around Cooker. But I think KSS is going to try to put one on the 38. Oh, big mistake. No. I mean, he didn't pass him, but that could have been a lot worse. His cars on the high side, cars on the low side. Making their moves. I see so much damage throughout the field. And look at this. Seven of Vader looks pretty fine after that big wreck, so nothing to see here. 34 with rear end damage. It's unfortunate. Tiger Man just does not have the NR luck at all. I'm hoping one day he'd get his win. Probably won't be today. The Puff has gotten back down to the low side. And is racing turn 11 pretty hard here. And that's 77. Now the Cooker just stuck the lap down. Like, yeah, they, they all race each other regardless of lap status, but... He's a lap down because he's slow as he gets blown right by. The 51 just sent it all around him. He slumped back on pit road. Team Duke and Hyper running that down. Yeah, I think everybody back to about to around Spock are out on speed. I think Ladion, Bissell, and Iris are. The ones who are really off pace. Like, it's not looking that good for them. 20 coming back on track. You know, this could be disastrous. If he doesn't merge correctly. We'll have to see. Back out, merge when you can. You merge in front of Benny. Oh, around goes the one of Shoal. Cannoli involved as well. Ooh, big, big incident. Well, held the brake, held the brake. Everybody gets by. Everybody gets by. His caution's out. We all know what the caution's for, anyways. No need. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We all saw it coming. Eastlamp incorrectly merging back on traffic and they get into Benny Shoal. This causes Benny to spin. Gets drilled by the 66 at Cannoli. Holy cow. Both drivers hold the brake after coming to a stop here. And you can see everyone else driving around.
I think no one's taking their chances and staying off pit road this time. Right? Looks like they're all in. Uh, Volley and Presence having a little beef on pit road here. One of them's not sure what they're doing. All right, so this puts um, Shoal and Cannoli both out of the race. This puts Mizzou in the lead. 31, 3, 33, 21, 15, 55, 47, 44, 38, your top 10. Let's get this back rolling. The cooker was a lap car, but he wasn't that bad of a lap car compared to Benny. So let's make it work. They're three wide for the lead, but with the lap car there in the mix, the cooker holding mid is they're going to go three wide into three. KSS BSS kind of shoots out with the lead. They're making it work. Pretty action packed in the short run here. Jake stormed off with the lead after KSS chokes and Hyper in the wall. 33 falls back a bit. Look at this low side run here. Volley, the Puff, Ben McDonald, all in a row here. They tried to go low on the 38, didn't quite work out in their favor. Hood Warrior falls back. Born and Duke run up. Try to catch Jake. CS Fast and 11 making some good moves here. Look at Laundry Sauce in the fight. Starts to really turn it back a little bit. They're going very hard right now. Jesus Christ. Mother sauce losing ground to the 50 is not what he wants to see. Mizzou all the way back in 17th. Starting to want to make a comeback. And Fred Jones in the mix. Not bad. Krugmeyer, that's six, looking for more, that's that 51 is not going to be patient with her, yeah, bad, line through the corner will definitely do it, I thought KSS was running strong, he fell back very quickly, back with these guys, this is where Vader currently runs, up and down day for the seven, just getting experience under his belt as they're gonna fan out going into one. But I think normal, I think they kind of double think their strategy and kind of rein it in, using up all the lines so they don't make contact through one and two. Zentz, Logan, Bissell, Iris back there. Oh, Toad Warrior for the lead. 15 car out front. A single file for the top five now. I think they're the, the the strong will run up on the weak as we see Volley and the Puff both 
being taken advantage of so far. Another solid born ready run. Laps are closing down. I think the 20 is out of the race as well. I think I missed that. Yeah, the 20 of Eastland out of the race as well. The 27 second lap times, I think we'll be running up on lap traffic sooner rather than later. Well, maybe not all the lap traffic at once, but you know what I mean. Uh, take it to Toad. CS in second. And Team Duke. Now it's Duke to second. The 15 is still running with this one. Let's see what this uh, 31 has when they run up on. The 23. Toad Warrior gets held up a little bit. Team Duke. Looking the high side. Now it's his turn. To get strung up by the 23. I think they finally got her on the second lane there. So they can all go around. But I think Team Duke benefited from that. So you can sniff the draft of the 15. 15 goes down low to protect. Now it's on. I think the 31 might have fell for it. But now look at the 21. Down low. A little too low for the 21 there. Starts to lose momentum around the exit there. A volley and a puff eventually get around. But they still have the right to be competitive. If you got it, you got it. The 21 and the 11 are fighting for position. This Team Duke looking for the lead. Around the 15. New leader, Team Duke. There's a running water here. The 16 of Ben McDonald making up position, as well as the 33. Yeah, two strong outings so far. Yeah, it's had a pretty solid race so far, a mix of the long and the short runs. And of course, it can't be a typical that one race or in our 2003 race without controversy, so... We have that thrown in as well earlier in the races. Now, Toad Warrior comes to pit road. Huh. Oh, look, pitting. Controversy. Knocking on wood. Wondering how long these other guys can stay out, though. Since it seems like they all pitted around the same time. But I think they may have pitted for different amounts of stuff. I keep my eye on the 44 of Darkest Presence. He might be coming in sooner rather than later. Or how many are on pit road? And it's just Toad. Jesus Christ, how fucking strung out is the pack? God, God damn. I mean, this does have the ability to go really wrong really fast if Toad Warrior remerges on the pack in a very poor state. As there goes the 23. That's some someone for Toad to catch. Laundry sauce. Fell off pretty hard. 
Zents, another driver fell off hard as we got a very big group of pitters. Hello, so many of you on the road right now. Who the hell's leading? 21 and the 11 are still out. They're in. 33, 16, 19, 38, 78, 9. Zens is coming in. Where's the 47 of Born ready? Is he in already? Yeah, he's coming out. Now it's just the rule of the road. Let's see if the 15 and the 31 here going in turn one. Don't think it's going to be enough. From the 15. Cars coming off pit road as well. This could be one last mix up if something bad were to happen. Toad Warrior taking the look on Team Duke. Oh! I think he's gonna be eyeing that and get it. New leader. One, two, racer about back to third is Jake and a few other cars mixing it up inside the top five and ten. Holy cow. They're more spread out than ever. But it's looking good so far. Everybody's kind of more spread. Tiger Man not having himself a good day at all. 23 coming in the pit. And Team Duke getting himself back around Toad for the lead. With limited laps to go. And a 31, hang on. Now it looks like Code Warrior had a bad corner that time. Code Warrior just losing Duke right now. Duke's running with it. Maybe Toad Warrior's going to try and reel him back. I don't know. 28-6, 28-2. Spock, the next lap car in 30th. Racer with a 28-2. Several drivers with 28 evens back here. 27-8. For CS. 28, 8, 28, 4. Measuring laps right now. 28 even, 28 even. Twenty-eight four, twenty-two, twenty-nine. Piper's gonna take racer's third place. Hyperdrive may have a fast car, but not enough time. This Team Duke really rolls out here. Pit road empty now. Thought I saw somebody there. 31. It's his race to lose. Hyperdrive speeding around to two to go. Toad Warrior in second place. What's it going to take? Team Duke approaching some cars. 
going to have to not get messed up too hard here if he wants to get it. The gap really growing. It's over a second now. So I think the 31 has found his groove. Coming to the white flag. Just had himself a fun little ride with the 43. But 31 kept it clean. And now he's going to go all the way. Remember, so many cars are damaged. That might be why the speed differential, regardless of rating. But nevertheless, the 31 of Team Duke out of four and wins Texas Apron. What a day. Checker flag, checker flag, checker flag. As the final results are coming in as we speak. Yeah, the cooker, the last of the lead lap cars. No, I think it was a lap car, but last of the cars that had to come in, though. Team Duke, top of the class. Very good run for some drivers. Not sure if through luck or through skill or through some other talent of bullshit I think Mizzou had to pit at the end there kind of sucks for the 19 everyone else winners or losers but other than that hell of a day that's all we got for DCI we'll see you next time take care